right, what is up you guys and welcome to a video where I pretty much cover what brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl really never became and why it bothers me in a fundamental way because this is the first time a remake has become lesser than the remakes before it and it just, the game itself became so shallow and that Pokemon Home really didn't bring anything to it besides making Swallow and Shut Up being able to use Boom Burst. It's kind of bad. It really is. Like, I really was thinking Pokemon Home had two ways to maybe go about to, um, like, buff the experience and maybe become more grander. But at least I hope that, like, mood shooters from previous game was going to be widely available for the game itself. But no, that didn't happen either. It seems like there's a set of moves for every mon, which basically means that we can't send over superpowers, type of close combats and toxics from other generations, or even the same generations there are from to this game. They're pretty much forget the moves, and that's about it. And, and yeah, why why was that a thing? I, I'm always ex like love the experience of once your, your sending traits are open up, that all of a sudden you get these niche moves like Magic Harp. All of a sudden, can bounce and Gyarados now have a flying step, stuff like that to really expand experience. Hell, I wildly depleted like how mods I can't just sell right now. Here's an hour body press being a while available to mods that aren't able to capitalize on it now. Basically, give mods that lost their edge that I got it back, but no, that didn't happen. And I thought that was at least what this game was gonna become. Now, that said, I had two routes that I want to cover, and what I was think was really going to happen once Pokemon Home comes out and was widely implemented to Legends of Vasius and then Diamond and Pearl remakes. Well, the first one that I think was a possibility, and that was basically that. Diamond and Pearl do not get a buff, but Sword and Shield gets the Pokedex from the Legends of Arceus and uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Those mods that aren't available in regional form will be introduced in Sword and Shield's meta. Basically, like um, an expanded roster before Gen 9, and pretty much you know, new toys to just expand the Sword and Shield meta. Um, that was, like, I think that probably isn't happening, but one thing that I thought was definitely happening that didn't happen when it was probably my grand idea and I actually might be um, too too opportunistic of Game Freak as I saw it as a definitely selling point of making sure Diamond or Diamond and Pearl was going to become this grand game and pretty much like the remake's predecessor like Omega Ruby and you know uh, gold, hearts, gold and soul, silver, like an expanded, defined version. I was definitely sure we was going to see um, downloadable content where once Pokemon Home opens up, there would have been some type of DLC that made you go to the Hichuan form or the you know, area basically for the new regional form. But not only that, once Pokemon was opening up, I was pretty sure like all the original versions of Pokemon accessible to the game was going to be implemented into Diamond and Pearl. Basically, since Pokemon Let's Go and to a certain degree, Sword and Shield made that happen. Uh, so I was pretty sure we was going to see Alolan Raticate, Alolan Raichu, Alolan Sandslash, you know, all those mods. Basically, a redefined meta because of widely distributed Pokemon types that aren't available in the game that would have basically Com complicate and make the more diverse meta. Hell, seeing the Galarian forms coming with Galarian Meowth or Persian or Perserker to that matter, you know, Rapidash form. Uh, we had Farfetch coming, of course, the Surfetch. I was thinking all of those mods were gonna come in and going to redefine what this meta is all about. Of course, I had like up to Gen 4, and that's about it. So I, I would have very much liked to see the legendary bird trio coming into their Alolan form. Or I mean the Galarian form to like reinvent the meta and what they represent that they have no similar type in, in the BDSP meta whatsoever. And also, I was thinking that the regional forms from the the Hishuan area was gonna be implemented. It has a deck, so I was definitely thinking Growlithe, Arcanine, the Electrolines, Hyflotion, Quillfish and its overquill evolution. And of course, the Sneasel Evolution. Everything else, yeah, they were gonna kick the bucket. Maybe they could have been introduced and maybe could have widened it, array, but I think they made things more complicated and much more diverse. 
Um, but I just felt that that was something that was going to happen. It would have been such a grand idea of reintroducing the meta to something better, but also pushing a narrative of this is what we can do with what we have widely accessible. But instead, we got nothing of that. It really was that. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are now pretty much ensure to be the worst meta introduced game in this whole series really as with considered the, the games that are before it the least diverse game itself was generation 3's ruby sapphire and emerald but they kind of made diamond and pearl a much more interesting because you had platinum 2 and all of a sudden a lot of mons can learn a lot of different, lot of different things but this game does not have that. It doesn't have the moves that came before it, by tutors before it. And by default, this game becomes just as diverse as Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. And that's a 20 year leap backwards. And it's a tremendous hard fall to see that happening. I was, like I said, ensure they were going to pretty much reinvent it and re-push it, that this is, this is something this game can be and something to hold you to this game before the next game come out. But instead, this game will rot fast. It will be the spoiled milk set in the sun, pretty much in a blaze. And I hate it. I hate that they messed this up because it was such a great opportunity for the game to become something different. But they actively decided against it. And they even, like I said, made it worse with not even having tutor moves introduced to this generation. So Generation 8 will go down, at least for me personally, as the worst implementations of Pokemons moving forward. And I really hope Generation 9 brings something to the table. But considering how this has gone about, I honestly don't want them to make even the Black and White remake no more. Because if they treat a remake such as this and call it fateful there is a difference between you know fateful and reimagining but fateful to a fault is what this game become and we all have a lesson experience for it so that's it guys i, I want to hear of course my thoughts but i really know what you guys think and what you guys thought pokemon home would be because there are a lot of things that brian brilliant diamond and shining pearl could have been but it ends up being one of the worst remakes of Pokemon, well, so far. And honestly, the other remakes were great, so that's quite an achievement from them. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and I'll see you guys with a new wife of Val very soon. Till then, take care, everyone, right? Bye.